Silvox TV is a fast-growing multi-category TV brand offering a wide range of high-quality products with now over 13 years of experience in the TV industry. They specialize in partial and fully weatherproof outdoor TVs as well as other types of TVs. Yeah, and in this video, it is all about this. Their brand new state-of-the-art 55-inch outdoor TV from the 2024 Deck Pro series. 2.0. A great looking smart TV that of course comes with all the bleeding edge features like Google TV, screencast, all sorts of apps, the Play Store, Google Assistant, including voice control, Dolby sound effects, audio enhancements and much more. And as you can see the screen is super bright. It's a great looking QLED panel with a 4K Ultra HD picture. Great colors, great sharpness and great build quality all in all. We have a full metal frame. This TV is a tank. This TV will withstand even harsh weather for years. But is is it as good as it looks? Let's find out. New Got the new drip from Silvox TV, their Deck Pro 2.0 55-inch smart outdoor TV. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box. That's the front right here. The top is just blank, except for this warning. We have this on the side, nice carrying handle, all the specs, the model, and all the supported apps that are on there straight out of the box. This on the other side, we have the energy rating, Google Assistant on board, as well as awesome Dolby sounds, Chromecast built in. This is a great smart TV. This on the other side is basically the same as on the, you know, on the opposing side. These carrying handles are indeed a lifesaver. So let's unbox it. Four straps all in all. Let's go. And now we just need to remove these clips down here just like that. Squeeze and pull just like that. Two more on the other side. And now we can just pull off this cover carefully. Great packaging and now check this out. First of all it won't fall over. Great stuff. And up here we have the accessories in two bags, taped in, all right. We have a cardboard plate on the back. As you can see, great protection. Yeah, also this. And now let's remove the styrofoam shell, just like that. One on the side and on the other side, of course. So we do have a wrap as well. And right off the bat, you can tell that this is extremely high quality metal body all the way around, but we'll check that out in a bit. So let me, oh, it's actually not that heavy. Really cool, so. There we go. So yeah, great packaging. And now let's get straight to the accessories and to the manual. So check it out, we have two baggies all in all. First of all, we have a power cable for any wall outlet and inside the same bag, we also have the mounting hardware for the back for a you know, TV stand or holder. And here we have the other bag. And inside here, we have the remote as well as a screwdriver. And this is actually for the remote. The remote is waterproof as well. Great remote right there. Nice buttons. Feels great in the hand. And it has a nice curvature to it. That's it from the side ergonomically shaped. And in here we also have a microfiber cloth, great to have. And of course all the paperwork. So we have it in German and on the other side in English. So here we go. And right there, here we have the socials and the warranty certificate. And lastly, we of course also have a detailed manual right there, multi-language. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Okay, I will skip through this a bit faster. As you can see, it's a very detailed OS overview. Wow, this manual is super comprehensive. And we also have troubleshooting, Q&A, warranty hotline, and there we go. So yes, yeah, super comprehensive. Again, we have the paperwork, the cloth, hardware for mounting it, remote with the screwdriver, as well as the power cable. Done with it in boxing. Let's get to my first impressions. And then of course, to a close overview. So here we have the TV. We have this on the edge, right? We will totally do this though. Can't wait to actually <laughs> simulate the rain. Beautiful front side. We can see this space gray color right here. Really nice finish. By the way, this TV is able to actually stand on its own, but just to be safe, I have it like that. And right here on the back, first of all, we have two extremely sturdy protrusions right there. Super thick weld. These are of course two of the four points for wall mounting it, but check this out. You can easily lift it up right here. This is such a massive shell. It's a 
tank of a TV, metal all the way around. Here with the quality control sticker and it's very well sealed. Screws with rubber O-rings everywhere and also this area with the I.O. ports, absolutely flawless. So yeah, let's take a close look. Starting with the right side, we can see all the screw holes, screws, and we also have the terminal right here. Power, mute, source, nice buttons, volume and channel plus minus. That's the top screws all the way across as well as on this side. But as you can see, other than that, this side is just blank. Again, the finish, the paint job looks really, really nice. We have these two anchor points right here for wall mounting it and the other two are down here. Check this out. Also on this back panel, we have screws all the way around. It looks super sturdy, like a tank. Here we have this back sticker right here. We will open this up in a second. Awesome panel. So that's the front side with the branding down there. And right here on the bottom, we have the two speakers as well as the cable outlet right here with the seal and the other speaker. And even though this is just a stereo configuration, thanks to the Dolby algorithms we can achieve great sounds and there is also an option for an additional soundbar so if you want the best sound i would highly recommend the soundbar which is also outdoor and fully weather proof and before mounting this tv to the stand i will of course also show you the io port so i will place it right here and now check this out you can open these by hand and these are the screws absolutely beautiful screws so let's get this open so great improvement from the last version these hand screws are really nicely to operate and i just noticed that this tv is rated at 170 watts which is not a lot of power this is a fairly energy efficient screen which i love to see and when it gets to the io we have regular ethernet optical out dvb t2 and s2 three times hdmi as well as two times usb and lastly we also have ci plus down here the headphone jack and of course the power cable and due to the fact that this is a smart tv we basically only need this power cable the rest will work over Wi-Fi. So let's plug it in and as you can see we also have this safety clip right there and this foam right here will enclose the cable perfectly. So let's close it up and there we go. As you can see this is tightly sealed so next up would be mounting it. I have the stand right here and now all that's left would be to install these holders right there. As you can see, they will fit perfectly. The screws are already in there, so there is actually no additional hardware needed in most cases. All right, and there we go. So I have the stand right here on rolls, super flexible for positioning it. In my opinion, this is just a way better solution than wall mounting it. Yeah, now let's hook it up. Thankfully, the TV isn't that heavy, so hooking it up is rather easy. Now the safety screws, let's go. And we have it mounted and ready to go. So let's angle it down a bit. Perfect. And now look at this beast. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up, check out the operating system, and then of course test it. Okay, let's plug it in, let's power it up. And there we go, looking good to me. The only question though is, do we have batteries in here or not? Let's take a look. The TV is now setting itself up. Perfect timing for opening up the remote because as you can see, there are no batteries inside. So I will get some while well, the setup will do the thing. Okay, batteries, there we go. Back and home for three seconds. Pairing successful, so that was easy. I will now close up the back door and there we go with the setup. Wow, the remote is super responsive. I love it. Okay, English is fine. And we can switch between basic setup and the Google TV setup. And of course, we want everything, not just live TV and HDMI, but we of course also want the voice assistant, Google assistant, as well as all the smart TV functionality. So let's do it. We can set it up with the Google Home app, but we can also just set up the TV and we will do it like this. Wi-Fi looking good. And as you can see, even though it is extremely bright outside, this TV is brighter. A usual TV, a regular TV would be pretty much invisible in lighting conditions like these, but this TV is around four to six times brighter than any regular TV. And that's the reason why it's super visible even right now. All right, Google account, let's do it. Got it, and there we go. One great feature of this TV is the Google Assistant voice feature. We can just press here and then we can talk to the remote basically. 
For this, we need to allow it. And here we can also set up all the subscriptions. So we have Disney Plus, Prime Video, Spotify, Apple TV, all that good stuff, but you can also do it later. So once again, location, channel installation is not needed and let's start now. So this is the last setup before we can use it. So let's wait for that to complete. So here we go, we are done, let's start exploring. So we have the home screen right there. As you can see, the OS is super snappy, super fast. We have all the apps like Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Prime Video, all of that good stuff right here. We have a selection of popular content. And of course we can, we can also download all sorts of other apps from the Play Store right there. We have the settings right there, this gear. And right here we can activate the screensaver looks like this for example let's go back we can also select the inputs cable antenna satellite also hdmi we also have the wi-fi menu accessibility for captions high contrast text to speech and all of that good stuff so all the features for impaired people and lastly we also have a ton of setup options for the picture quality and for the picture mode this will change the power consumption you can make it even brighter of course this will use up more power and down here we have standard dynamic movie eco gentle vivid sport game personal if you connect a computer then the game mode would be best because it has the lowest input lag let's try dynamic and we also have wcg let's auto would be best and we also have screen brightness it's set to 100 perfect and we also have advanced settings color temperature dynamic contrast even noise reduction so tons of optimization possibilities and by the way up here at the settings there is yet another gear and here we also have more settings like display and sound settings and this is an important slider right here because you will get the best sound only when you check this box right there Dolby Atmos this will activate the spatial audio enhancements and with this it will sound just so much better we also have advanced settings here you can find eq settings and all of that good stuff and now let's test the voice feature as well let's try youtube opening youtube for android tv wow oh we already have the app so it will actually open up the app right away go to the home screen wow that's awesome now open up netflix opening Netflix. Wow, this is super powerful. And we also have the shortcuts right here. So for example, Disney Plus, it will now immediately switch over to this one. For the voice assistant, we also have a few tutorials. For example, tell me a joke or play this podcast, latest news, all that stuff. But you can also use it for a Google search. What year was Alien released? Now check this the out. Austria, Alien, 1979, came out on October 26, 1979. It's not only super accurate, but also super fast. And when we press back, we'll end up at this screen once more. Play some music. It looks like you haven't chosen a default music provider. Google Assistant is just amazing. And of course, we also have the Chromecast. It should be somewhere right there, but we, I think we can also use the voice assistant. Open up Chromecast. Here's TVcast for Chromecast on the Google Play Store. All right, we need to download this app. But of course, any smart TV like this one can also cast your phone to it without any issues. Let's just watch a video and let's check out the awesome quality of this screen. Tech Magnet. Got it. Here are some videos. Typing on this keyboard is super painful but it's not needed thanks to the voice assistant. I love it. So let's watch this one. There are some great shots in there. If you think about getting yourself... Wait, let me change the picture quality because it's now set to dynamic, which is very, very vivid. Let's go for the standard mode because this should give us a more realistic impression. And and so it looks way better, movie. but we of course also need that 4K quality. So right there, settings, quality, 4k of course so as always now check this out wow wait let me pause that look at the clarity of this picture right there this is a high res 4k screen right here and as you can see it is extremely sharp and you can only start to see the pixels when you go extremely close look at the sharpness of these letters of these graphics you can even see 
my individual hairs. So this great color, super vivid picture, even in the standard mode, extremely sharp. If you want, you can and it sounds great as well. Into a regular action cam Look at this quality. Single lens mode. And in this mode, it is a very similar performance wise to the GoPro 12. And that is right crazy. So in Incredible quality. And best of all, we can of course also move this TV somewhere out there. And while doing it, I will also go for some rain simulations, as I said. So yeah, let's do it. So here we go, the TV itself is fully waterproof, but this connector is not, so I will try to not hit the cable, but the TV itself should be fine. Yep, that's better, I guess. Oh, that's more like rain, or this one, I don't know. So let's go back, check this out. No problem. So we have the video running, now check this out. Rain simulator. This is actually also great for washing in, I guess. So yeah, as you can see, it is fully waterproof, to say the least. Not only from the front, but of course, also from the back. Check this out. I will douse it. I will get it completely wet. So this is not only rain, this is a rainstorm. I don't even know, but now it's completely wet. Check this out. But of course, it is made for that. Easy. Awesome picture quality, fully waterproof. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the best. So if you want the same capabilities with GoPro products, really cool. You need to spend really bucks. cool. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> and as I said, not only the TV is fully waterproof, but also the remote. So there is no need to worry about it. No need whatsoever. So yeah, massive, massive thumbs up from my side. This thing is awesome. So as you saw, this TV is a state-of-the-art smart TV, but with the outdoor edge. It is way brighter and way sturdier than any other regular TV. The shell is made out of metal. It is scratch resistant as well as sealed against water, dirt, dusty breeze. So whether it's rainy or windy, it won't harm this TV at all. You can leave it out in the open without any issues. And yes, it's of course also UV proof, so the sun will not affect it either. The screen and picture quality is Excellent. Great color reproduction, vividness, sharpness, you name it, just look at it. Ultra HD 4K for outdoors and that for an affordable price. It's just amazing. And again, it has all the news features, all the apps, all the streaming services. You can cast your phone easily to it. Great voice assistant. It's running Android straight out of the box. And as you know, as well as with your phone, you can download and manage all sorts of apps from the Play Store. You can even play games on it. It will work great with any gaming consoles as well. It has a dedicated game mode as well and tons of other tools. And all in all, I am super impressed by this TV. They basically took a great TV and made it outdoor proof and also affordable. Yeah, and that is definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Tech Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.